What is up my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here and we are back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's episode we're going to be looking at Black Mamba recreation created by Rax. So stay tuned and let's check it out. So everybody, this is a placeable coaster. That is right. It is, uh, let's see how many pieces it is. Just under 1900. So you can place this in your park. It is a placeable coaster and links will be down in the description as always. So this one was sent in. It says, uh, it's sent in by Angela. She says, uh, hello, Johnny. My friend have built a recreation of Black Mamba in theme park Fantasia Land, Germany's number one coaster. Here is original video of Black Mamba. Here's a link to the workshop. So she sent me a um, link to the video. I watched the video. It looked very cool. Let's take a quick look at the Steam Workshop. So here it is. Black Mamba themed, but created by Rax. Come rate it, favorite it, subscribe to it, and all that good stuff. It is a placeable coaster blueprint, so you will be able to place this down in your parks. So I'm a little bit confused because uh, I think Angela said that this was her friends. And then I got a message from somebody on Steam saying like, we're also making a park out of this. So I think we're going to be featuring this again in the future when it's more than just a placeable coaster and it's a park. But I decided it'd be worth featuring right now anyways because you guys, we haven't done a placeable coaster in a while. And uh, I like to show you guys these placeable coasters. Yeah, let's just jump right into it. You can, I can see from the looks of things and based off of the video I saw, it is very, very similar. And um, while the landscape may not be perfect, like um, we got the desert rocks instead of um, just like dirt mounds and stuff, that's because it's a placeable coaster and you'd have to do um, terraforming if you wanted to get it actually accurate. However, these buildings are spot on. Really like the design of these buildings. Yeah, I, um, the, the wood the wood in, going around the sides here, these uh, log fences. Now, what's interesting is we featured um, Congo Motto, and I didn't realize that that was... It's very similar to this, and I think it was inspired by the Black Mamba. And I figured that out after when I saw this. So um, if you like this coaster, go check out the uh, Congo Motto. I think it's the last video before this. I'm not sure how I've released them, but uh, it should be on my channel. So yeah, this is a very cool looking coaster. It's a hanging coaster. I love these. Now, one thing we got to do like a reverse queue here because it was a little bit confusing. So this is where the queue starts. And then there's um, wooden pathways that guide you all the way up. It goes through this building. It was a little bit tricky to get going. And then there's some bridges going up and across here and then it goes into this building and then it just ends there's there's literally the wood beams just end here so i was kind of like where do i go now so i just kind of ran it over the rocks and then over through here and then into the trees um so the queue is a little bit confusing after this spot here it was pretty easy to set up up to that point but i don't know what the intention was but it worked out going this way, so that's how we're doing it. So a quick look at this at nighttime. Uh, no lighting. Now I do talk about lighting a lot in my videos. Somebody says, somebody said to me, "Is this is lighting your pet peeve?" It's not really. Um, the thing is, I just I think every coaster should be lit up at night. I think every park should be lit up at night. Lighting is half of the gameplay half the time you're at night and half the time you're at day and sometimes you're going to be making nighttime parks that are strictly for nighttime so uh i think lighting should always be considered and it's not really a pet peeve of mine it just so happens that nearly every single video we do people forget to do lighting and it just kind of shocks me so i always bring it up and i always try and give my tips on how i would light things now this one i don't know how it looks at nighttime the video i watched was a daytime lighting uh video so, I mean, I, I would just say put some torches around and that, that would probably do the trick. You don't have to go fancy with any spotlights or area lights. Anyways, enough of that. Let's give this coaster a ride. All right, I got the volume nice and loud. We're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing ride seat for this one. Let's give it a go. Very nice. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. 
Wow, that's awesome. Really fast. Um, yeah, I like it. Let's um, check this out in cinematic mode, guys. Here we go. Wait, is this... Oh. Felt like it was on two times speed. What a beautiful coaster. We can give this a um, night tide ride in track view, I think. Why not? All right, here we go. We're going to do nighttime in track view. Here we go. Sounds coming off this coaster are amazing. It's so fast. I love it. Awesome. So there it is, everybody. The Black Mamba placeable coaster. I'm really excited to know what they do to this when it's a non placeable coaster. My only suggestion would be to. Uh, probably take out these rocks and use the terrain instead because I think you can get some better colors and textures using the actual terrain looking at the video they had a lot of like overgrown areas but then they had some dirt and then you know they had some sand and a little bit of this and that um, you don't quite get the same effect using these big um, deserty boulders so that would be my only suggestion if you're doing a non placeable version to um, make the terrain yourself other than that, I thought it was great, and uh, I guess my last bit of advice would be uh, do something, a little bit of something for the, the nighttime effect. Even if it's just a few torches spread out here and there, I think that could really help it out. Um, you have another 100 pieces to work with still on this, so you can still afford to do a few lights for the nighttime placeable blueprint. I thought it was awesome. What do you guys think? Put your comments down below. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. That was the Black Mamba theme by Rax. Um, links will be down in the description as always and thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please be sure to smash that like button if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more daily planet coaster content and uh, let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments below all right everybody i hope you have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next video bye now